Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I honestly never thought I would be making this video right now, but here I am, and it's actually crazy because I have wanted this item that I wanna talk about for like so long. I saved up all my money for it, and I've had it less than a year, and I'm deciding to sell it. And that is the Contax T2 film camera. It's actually crazy that I've only had it less than a year and I've used it maybe for like five or six rolls um, and I've decided to sell it and there's a few reasons why. And it's not that it's a bad camera. This is like the best film camera you could probably ever buy. It has um, a 2.8 aperture, which is really amazing. The blur I've been able to get in my film photos is just like, definitely comparable to a digital camera which is amazing the camera itself looks perfect like it looks so good it's the titanium this is like the black gray model and uh, i don't know if you've seen look celebrities have this camera and they use it and i mean this doesn't cost them anything so it's not that big of a deal but for me this was a big purchase and if you're spending over a thousand dollars on a film camera you have to use it and the one reason why I'm selling it is because I just don't use it enough um, I also might look a little afraid to take it with me um, out in public because one I'm afraid it's gonna get stolen or I'm gonna drop it and um, damage it and or anything and the other is just like it's not practical like it's quite big and thick um, the lens is really really skinny which is good because it is a nice piece of glass, but it just, I don't know, I feel like it could get damaged easily. I also just like want to take it when I'm on the water or when I'm on a hike or when I go to Disneyland and I go on the rides and like this, I'm just not going to take on a ride because this is over a thousand dollars. And if I was to break this, like, I don't know what I'd do. They don't make these anymore. So the parts for these are very slim. You'd probably have to go to eBay or a specialty store but I don't know so that's more about the camera and then it actually came with the original case when I got it which is this it's just like kind of a suede case um, I actually ordered a leather one when I got this camera off eBay but it never arrived so they just gave me a refund which I was kind of sad about because the leather case would be so nice but um, the camera fits like so seamlessly in here looks really good and it's actually pretty protective um i've never dropped this and this is the like original strap it came with i just tied it so it'd be like a little bit shorter um but yeah this camera has been amazing and i'm actually selling it tomorrow which uh, i still have mixed feelings about but i know it's good and i kind of posted it on facebook and i was like oh let's put some feelers out there and if someone wants it then i'll sell it if no one wants it then i'll just like use it but Within five minutes, someone asked to buy it and they asked for example photos and I was shocked. They also didn't talk me down on the price, which I like posted it for more. So that was kind of nice, like a little blessing. And I don't know, I also just have so many other film cameras that I'm like, do I really need this? Like, is this a little bit overkill? And I mean, I did buy it for my business and I was gonna use it at weddings. Yeah, so that's like about the contacts. It just like is so beautiful. Like this camera is just perfect and stunning. I would um, open the back here, but I actually have a roll of film in it still. So I have to finish this before I sell it tomorrow. I have taken eight photos and I still have um, 24 in this roll. So I have a few more to go, which is exciting. And I'm definitely gonna take you along while I shoot the rest of this roll and as I pack it up to leave oh it's so sad but I know I should do this and I actually realized that I should sell this camera the other day when I was at the thrift store with my friend because they came across this camera um found this at the thrift store okay it says it's $3.99 $3.99 leather case cute small like I mean I guess it is like kind of comparable here to this one but whatever um and when I saw this one I was just like so 
in love because it's so freaking cute. Here it is. I have yet to put a battery in it. So I actually don't know if it works, but look at this. It's so cute. Oh, and like the viewfinder is like quite large, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I will open the back and the back is really clean, which I really like. I didn't expect it to be so nice in there. So it actually only takes triple A's, which is kind of weird. So to find some triple A's and then put it in here. But yeah, I found this camera at the thrift store and I was like, this is so cute. And like, I would take this paddle boarding. I would take this on rides at Disney. Like there's just nothing I wouldn't do with this camera. Like I just feel like it's $3.99. Like I'm not losing a lot if I break it or like with the contacts, if I drop this, I'd be out $1,500, which is just crazy. So yeah, I found this at the thrift store and that was kind of a moment where I was like, oh man, I should sell my contacts because if this brings me as much joy as this does, like why would I keep this and just like not use this one? So yeah, that's kind of the story about this. And this was exciting. I also have so many other film cameras like this one is actually my parents. Um, and they were wedding photographers and they only shot film. And this is a Nikon F100. Um, this camera is like, kind of like feels more digital cause like it has the screen. Um, it's just like bigger, like look at that grip. Like a grip and a camera is really important to me. Um, so I've been liking using this. And this one just has like the interchangeable lenses. Like this is one of uh, my favorite lenses that I like. It's the 50. And like, look, I can put whatever lens on this camera I want. And I think that's like something I use for my film photography is like this camera. Cause it does like, it does a better job than the contacts. It's just like way bigger. So that's kind of why I got the contacts in the first place. Cause this one was too big. Um, but yeah, this one's like super great and it's my parents. So it's just like sentimental to me. But actually the first film camera I ever got was given to me by my friend and it was this one. I told her I wanted a cute silver and black film camera that I could hang on my wall, but also use. Um, as you can see, it is quite big. It has this like leather case on it. And I actually still have a roll of film in this from January, 2021. Yeah, I think it was like so long ago. Um, but anyways, I guess I broke it. I don't know. So I still have film in here, which is kind of sad because I do have some photos on this, but I don't really know what else to do. So the film is stuck. This just sits on my counter because it looks really cute. And I actually do have another film camera that I should show you. Let me go find it. Okay, so my friend who got me this camera for our friend's Christmas gift exchange, I told her I broke it and she was like, oh, I'll take it back, it's fine. I was like, no, no, I wanna keep it, it looks beautiful. Um, she actually ended up surprising me with uh, another film camera when I moved to another place with my husband and it is the Olympus which I don't know if you know much about film cameras, but basically the Olympus has kind of taken over the world. I feel like contacts, like in 2020, contacts was like the camera to get. And now people are realizing that the cheaper cameras are actually very comparable. Um, so I'll open it up. So it comes with this like plastic suede leather case. I don't know, nothing, nothing fancy, but it's nice. Um, and then she got me the Olympus Infinity Zoom 80. So this one is definitely very similar to the contacts in size. And um, I don't have a roll of film in it right now, which is good. <laughs> so the back, super clean, really nice. And here you can put like the date if you want like a timestamp. So there's like a battery here um, and then we actually need to change the batteries. Um, so yeah, this one open because I need to put a new battery in, but, oh. So there's the lens, comes out just a little, and then you can actually zoom here. 
which is really funny. I've actually never used the zoom because I think it looks really weird, but yeah, so that's like how it normally is in this camera. And it's actually crazy that this um, camera and the contacts look so similar. I didn't really realize, I've never really compared them, but my friend knew what she was doing when she gave me this camera. So here's the Olympus that she gave me last summer, June, I think. And then this is the contact. So, I mean, this one's not as cute as this one, but this one's also like $100. And this one is $1,500. So, but very comparable in size and um, thickness and just style, I guess. Like, I mean, the straps are the exact same spot, like it's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, she got this camera for me off Facebook and I thought it was just like hundreds of dollars and I was shocked and I was so thankful and appreciative. And then I brought it up to her after I got the contacts and I was just like, I'm so sorry about this camera. Like, I love it, I'm still gonna use it. And she was like, don't even worry. It was like $25. And I was stunned because I've seen these on Facebook and people are selling them for over $200 now, which is crazy, but they realize that these are really good cameras. So that's my final film camera. I guess this turned into kind of a collection video, but I just have so many film cameras that I love. Um, I will lay them all out to show you, but that's the gist. The whole reason why I made this video was to talk about why I'm selling the contacts, which I am sad about, but I know it's good. It's a seller's market, which is one of the reasons why I'm selling it and I'm making a profit on it. And I'm putting that money towards good use, which I'm very happy about. So I will take you along when I finish this roll today and tomorrow, which is gonna be sad, but it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna roll some clips of what I shot and what I did. Um, please enjoy. This is my baby and it's gonna be gone, which is sad, but it's for the better and someone else is gonna use it and love it. And I just want someone to use it and utilize it because this camera is a relic, it's vintage and yeah, just needs some love and attention. Hope you enjoy these next few photos and videos of what I shot and I will show you some other photos that I've shot with these cameras as well. Um, I've actually never gotten a roll developed from this one so I can't show you that one. Um, but I did shoot my first roll on this camera, a black and white roll, which was just so perfect for what it was. Once I use this camera, if it works, then I will show you those as well. But yeah, I guess this is more about the contacts and it's sad for it to be gone, but I'm so happy I bought it and I'm happy I used it and I'm happy I'm selling it. You stay till the end. <laughs> Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos about film. If you have more questions, feel free to put them in the comments and yeah, say goodbye to this camera with me one last time.